So we're here with Nico Bailey, foil designer at Alinghi Red Bull Racing. So you previously worked with American Magic and now you've brought your skills to the Swiss team. Foil design has always been a special part of the cup. The famous Ben Lexen found his inspiration in nature. So where do you find your inspiration? And is there such creative leeway or is it all data driven these days? So on my case, my inspiration was coming from the planes. So I started work, I'm an aeronautical engineer, started working with Airbus and that's why I joined American Magic and my real big passion was was coming from the flying uh, engines but the, at the end we end up uh, thanks to the this kind of foiling history we ended up uh, designing the wings of the foil which are pretty similar than uh, a wing design and on your question of the data driven stuff but we try to make the things as objective as possible and try to remove all the subjectivity to get the, the best result as we can. So what do you think of the INEOS Britannia W foil? <laughs> it's really interesting. I mean, they repeated uh, the design what uh, they did last time. It's, uh, I mean, it's, it's really impressive, the, the challenging that this kind of foil uh, can represent to, in terms of systems, in terms of foil design. So yeah, we're really looking on how they're, they're working and really, yeah. So how do you assess the performance of a competitor's foil design? And what factors do you take into consideration when comparing it to your own, to your own design? I mean, I, I, I guess all the teams do the same. Eh? We, we model, we try to model with the higher fidelity as possible all their, their foils. We model in all our setup tools that we have, so simulator, CFD, uh, all kind of calculations, and uh, we try to understand what are the weaknesses of the opponents and what are the good points to try to make the best as possible to 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 bet them. So how do you use data and simulations to optimize your foil design and what metrics do you typically track to evaluate the success of a design iteration? I mean first of all the, the first step is to validate that all what we are doing on the computer uh, matches on water and then uh, we start pushing a little bit the limits until uh, we get the best performance of the foils. And so how do you balance the trade-off between maximizing speed and maneuverability with minimizing drag and you know, <laughs> keeping the stability? That's uh, well, the eternal question that uh, we're trying to answer. And uh, yeah, it's good, to, it's good to be here in the racing field to, to have the, 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 most, uh, the highest fidelity part of uh, what's going to be the America's Cup next year. So, so yeah, that's a good advantage that we have. Perfect, thank you very much.